It is that time of year, my friends, the Sephora sale. I will leave on the screen here all the details of when you can shop based on your status at Sephora. I am VIB Rouge through December 2021. If that tells you what my spending habits are like, my office is a disaster because we're moving, but we'll talk about that in a different video. Honestly, in the year that is 2020, the only thing that could make it somewhat more manageable is like a good discount on stuff. So I don't know. I, I wanted to do a really quick Sephora sale video that specifically was cruelty free because Sephora doesn't always clearly label things as cruelty free and then also I don't really believe in the word clean it's not a regulated word by the FDA like literally anyone can use the word clean and there's no there's just no regulation of it so I'm not a big believer in clean beauty however I will say that all the products that are on my list I would consider as clean as clean comes uh, they're either like mineral based or just made without mineral oils or phthalates or I don't know parabens all the other stuff anything that you can argue that would maybe be a little bit nasty and you don't want it in your makeup. So that's what we're doing here today. And these items are coming straight out of my everyday makeup bag because that's how much I love them. So the first one, you guys, I'd have to say is the Bare Minerals Original Foundation. I, this was the first, this was the first foundation I ever wore because it was the only thing my mom would really let me wear. <laughs> like, I remember she took me to get shade matched and I had horrible acne ridden, very sensitive prone, just very reactive skin. So when it came time for me to ask for makeup, this was really where my mom took me and I'm thankful for it it still to this day only has five ingredients it's all mineral based it is a loose powder what I will say is interesting is like this is what I'm wearing today it doesn't look or feel like a powder like a traditional powder I do remember back in the day using a lot of the like Mac studio fix stuff and man that that felt like a powder like it sat on your face so this stuff doesn't have that feeling it is light but you can get good coverage with it um I will say if I ever need spot concealing I'll just use this guy this is the bare skin complete coverage serum concealer and it really is a serum consistency so I'll use this on any pesky spots but otherwise I really love this stuff it's very light it's a mineral based situation so I know there's not a whole lot of weird gunk in there and it's SPF 15 which doesn't get you all the way to the SPF you need on a daily basis but at least it is something these come in at 32 each so with a little bit of a discount I'd say it's a pretty good deal the next item on my list I actually have in both their loose and their solid formula. This is like a travel size that came in a kit, but it's Bare Minerals Faux Tan Bronzer. I love the shade of this bronzer. It is just so natural looking. Now, obviously I'm very fair. Um, this is the color I'm wearing today. I am wearing blush too, obviously, but this is the bronzer shade I'm wearing today. I think if you have fair to light medium skin tone, this would be a great shade for you. It is not too warm. It is not too cool. It is perfect neutral. And that's why I love it. And I love it so much that I literally have it in both, both formulas. Like the rest of Bare Minerals, it is free of parabens and other nastiness. So very clean, if you will. I still hate that word, but very clean. And 29 bucks for the full size, not this size, this is the mini, but for the full size of this, which I think is, I have their highlighter. Yeah, I think it's like this size, basically. This is their highlighter. Pretty much my entire makeup bag right now is Bare Minerals. They're that good. Feeling fresh. All right, the other item on my list, not the other item, one of the other items is the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush, actually. I reviewed the entire Rare Beauty collection. I can leave that link for you guys here. And this just happened to be one of my favorite products from the entire line. It is just such a great, it's just such a great consistency. It's so lightweight. Um, it's very pigmented. If I do a swatch of this, like it'll cover my entire arm. It is so pigmented. A little bit goes a long way. Rare Beauty as a brand is a brand that you should look into and support, especially if you care about cruelty-free, clean, all that stuff. In fact, on their website, they have the same philosophy I do. They don't consider themselves clean beauty because it is not a regulated term, but they do say that they don't use, you know, mineral oils and all these other nasty things. So I just really align with the brand. I think it is well done. Congrats to Selena Gomez for that one. I don't think it was a cash grab. I think it's a great brand with good products. So much so that I find myself using this on a regular basis. And this bad boy is 20 bucks. So that's the other 
other thing I like about Rare Beauty, I think the price point is sort of in this nice medium range. Obviously, Sephora will never have drugstore pricing, but I will say that for Sephora, this is in a really nice kind of sweet price point. And again, 20% off if you're Rouge, 15% off if you are VIB, and 10% off if you're Beauty Insider. I mean, grab it while you can. Actually, while we're here, I'm just digging into my everyday makeup bag, um, let's talk about the Rare Beauty brow pencil and eyeliner. These are two other items that if I had to pick something from Rare Beauty or just pick items in general that I would really recommend getting the discount on, these are two great products. Like I've honestly enjoyed using these a ton. The brow pencil is very creamy. It's actually double-ended, so it does come with the pencil on one side. And then on the other side, you've actually got a brow gel. So it's all in one. It's tinted brow gel. I just love that they've kind of put it all in one product at a good price point. Can you shut my door since you're like making noise? Are you eating candy? Yeah. Yeah. He's eating candy. Like I said, the other Rare Beauty item I think is great. I mean, to be honest, the entire line was really good. But if you're gonna pick up something and you're in need of a new eyeliner, a liquid eyeliner specifically, I cannot recommend the Rare Beauty liner enough. It is a brush tip, not a felt tip. It's at like a pretty good price point. It's long wearing, like it doesn't run. I have very sensitive eyes. So for me, I actually am struggling. Eye makeup is my favorite thing to wear and I'm honestly really struggling to wear it lately because my eyes have been that sensitive. Like just so, so sensitive to the point where I will, it'll be just running off. My eyes will actually be red. So to find an eyeliner, that's something that sits so close to the actual eyeball and my eyelashes, which get clogged and I get styes. To find something that doesn't irritate my eyes, it's a really big deal. So again, another rare beauty find I would recommend picking up if you are in need of an eyeliner and want to get a discount. Okay, I don't know where the lipstick ran off to, but the last thing I wanted to talk about was another Bare Minerals item. It is the Mineralist lipstick. Again, just to be clear, Bare Minerals has never sponsored me. I wish they would. Please come knocking on my door. I love them. Not sponsored, just in love with the brand and think they do great stuff. I'm not a big lipstick wearer. I'm actually not a big lip product wearer because my lips are so chronically dry. I did two rounds of Accutane when I was a teen and I just, my lips have been tragically dry ever since, but my skin is great. So I don't know. I have to just really give props to this lipstick. If you're in the market for a hydrating lipstick that you still want to get color out of, I cannot recommend the Mineralist lipsticks enough. I'm wearing the shade, I think it's called Grace today. I did pop that on for this video just for you and I wouldn't say the staying power is like a matte lip or anything But at the end of the day like for someone with dry lips like myself I'd rather just reapply than have crusty lips and again, I might order another shade with a discount Okay, that's it y'all. I know everybody's doing like really crazy long videos about the Sephora sale I just want to say like I know this is a really hard year for everyone We I mean, I'll go through this in another video uh, But like we just bought our first home. We're in escrow like everybody's just trying to figure out their finances I'm super sensitive to recommendations from people like I just I don't I don't want to irresponsibly recommend things to people So I'm really only recommending things that I use on a daily basis that I would stock up on with a discount and that I recommend. If you do shop the sale and you wanna try any of these items, I would super appreciate if you use my affiliate links. They are down below in the description box. I make a small commission whenever you buy something at no extra cost to you. And yeah, that's it. Let's chat in the comments below about makeup and beauty things and you know, the fact that that's what really keeps us sane during this odd year. All right, love you guys, bye.